Hey guys, it's Shelby from Big Hat Creative here, and in this video, we are going to go over adding social media icons to your Squarespace website. Social media icons are a really convenient way of getting your site visitors to visit your social media platforms. They can be placed just about anywhere on your website using Squarespace's built-in social links block. You're able to display the relevant social media platform logo, which can easily be customized to suit your website's unique style. And it's super easy to add these links to your website. So to add your own social media account links, first you're going to want to head to Settings, Website, and then Social Links. You can also always click the slash on your keyboard and type in exactly what it is that you're looking for to be taken directly there. You can then click where it says add a social link and type in the URL for one of your social media accounts. Then you'll press enter on your keyboard to add that social link. And just a quick tip here, if you're not totally sure what your social media account URL is, it's going to be the platform URL. So for example, instagram.com slash and then your username for that platform. You can go ahead and repeat this process for as many social media accounts as you'd like. You can even add your email address if you'd like to add an icon for visitors to click and email you directly. You can also modify each individual link by clicking directly on it. And in this pop-up window, you can edit the URL right here. You can also choose whether or not you want this link to show as a social icon on your website. And if you want to remove the link completely from your website, you can click remove. Okay, now that you have all of your social links linked, you'll wanna actually add the social icons block to your website. To do that, we will exit out of our settings and navigate to the page that we wanna add the block to. For right now, we're just going to add it to our homepage. So I'll click on edit in the top left corner and scroll to the area of my homepage that I want to add my social icons. In the top left corner of this section, I will click add block. And then you can either scroll down or type in the search bar social links and click the social links option. You can then move this block wherever you want in the section and you'll see that your unique social links automatically show up in the block. I do want to quickly mention that I'm currently using the Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine Editor, but if you're using Squarespace 7.0 or the Classic Editor, adding this social links block is going to look a little bit different, so just keep that in mind. You can customize this block further by clicking into it and then playing around with the alignment options. So you can align it center to the bottom to the top. And then if you click on the little pencil icon, you'll find some additional customization settings. Here in the content tab, you'll be able to add additional social links if you'd like. And you can also remove existing ones by clicking on edit and then clicking on this little red minus button to the left of the social link. You can also click and drag the three lines to the right of the social link to change the order that they show up in. And once you're happy with that, you can click done. If you click on an individual link itself, you'll again be able to edit the URL here and also choose whether or not you would like that social icon to display within the social icon block. Under the design tab, you'll be able to customize the style or the actual look of your social icons. Under border, you can choose what kind of shape you want your icons to take on and whether or not you want them to be solid or have an outline. You can choose from a square, a circle, or rounded edges, or you could also choose to just have no shape or border and just have the icons on their own. You can choose whether or not you want them aligned to the left, right, or center of the block. And you can also choose what size you would like your icons to be. And just a quick note here, any changes or edits that you make under the design tab or under the content tab to each individual link will affect all social icon blocks throughout your entire website. So just keep that in mind before deleting the link or changing the design. The actual color of your social links will depend on the color settings that you have set up in your site styles for that particular section's color theme. So to adjust this, you'll click on the paintbrush icon in the top right corner and then navigate to colors. You can then choose the color theme of the section that you are currently on, so whichever section your social icons are in. And in order to figure out which color theme you're using, if you're not quite sure, it'll say up here in the top right corner what the theme is. So we are currently using lightest one. So I'll click into lightest one and then scroll down to where it says social links block, which is 
pretty far down here at the bottom, right here. From here, I'll click on the little color swatch circle to the right of main color. And you can either choose from a color in your existing color palette or click on custom to choose a completely custom color. And once you're happy with the color that you've chosen here, go ahead and click save to exit. Changing the color of your icons in Squarespace 7.0 or in the classic editor is a little bit different. And unfortunately, it's a little bit more limited. But to do so, you'll navigate to the section that your icons are in and click edit. You'll then click on your social links block, click on the little pencil edit icon. And in this pop-up window, click into the design tab. Under color, you'll be able to choose from three different color themes. Light will make your icons white, so you'll want to use that on top of a dark background. Dark will make your icons this black or sort of dark gray color. And standard will make your icons take on the color theme of the social media platform. So Instagram and YouTube are a red color, Facebook is blue, etc. So once you've chosen the color theme that you're happy with, go ahead and click out and save. Now, if you want to add your social links into your header, the process is a little bit different. You'll first want to click edit on your website to enter into editing mode and then hover over the very top of your website and click edit site header. You'll then want to click on the add elements button to the very left. In the pop up here, you can go ahead and toggle on social links and you can see they appear up here in your header. You can then click out of that pop up window and click into the social links block just like before. We'll click the little pencil edit icon and you can edit the links here. You click edit, you can delete and move them around just like we did before. And under design, you can customize the look of your social links as well as the icon size. If you're using Squarespace 7.0, adding your social links into your header is dependent upon which template you're using. Not all Squarespace 7.0 templates have the ability to add icons into the header. So that's something that you'll want to check on before making your initial choice. If you are using a template that allows for this function, you'll want to navigate to your site styles by clicking on website, design, and site styles. You can then scroll down to where it says header layout. Under this section, you'll find a category called social position. In the drop-down menu here, you can choose whether you want to hide the social links or you can choose a location for them to show up in your header. When you're happy with how things look, you can go ahead and click save. The colors of your site header social links are actually controlled this time by the primary button color that you have set in your site styles. So to edit that, you'll again click on the paintbrush icon in the top right hand corner, navigate to colors, find the color theme that you're working with. In this case, we're in darkest one, and then scroll down to where it says button. Under primary button background, you can then go ahead and play with the colors in your palette or choose a completely custom color here. And again, when you're happy with your changes, go ahead and click save. And that is all there is to it for adding social link icons to your website. I hope this video was helpful. And if you are looking for some more Squarespace tips, please subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every single week.